Avoid this mistake if you want to protect your peace of mind and well-being. Not everyone around you has good intentions, and sometimes the people you trust the most could be harboring harmful traits. In today's video, we will explore nine evident signs that there is an evil person next to you. Understanding these signs will help you identify and distance yourself from toxic individuals, safeguarding your mental and emotional health. We will delve into behaviors such as finding pleasure in others' pain, the need to control, and the habit of lying, among others. These insights are crucial for maintaining a balanced and fulfilling life, as they allow you to recognize and avoid those who can disrupt your peace. Stay tuned to learn how to navigate relationships with wisdom and protect yourself from harmful influences. Number 1. Pleasure in Others' Pain Imagine a time when you felt pure joy from helping someone else, the warmth of their gratitude filling your heart. Now consider the stark contrast of someone who feels pleasure from seeing others suffer. This is one of the clearest signs of an evil person. They find joy in the misfortunes of others, revealing a deep-seated cruelty. In Stoicism, we learn the importance of empathy and compassion, understanding that the true measure of our character is how we treat others, especially in their times of need. Why is this topic critical? Because recognizing this trait in others can protect your emotional well-being. An evil person might laugh or smile when they see someone going through a difficult time. This lack of empathy and joy in others' pain can lead to harmful situations created by them for their own satisfaction. Imagine a co-worker who chuckles when you struggle with a task instead of offering help, or a so-called friend who makes jokes about your personal problems rather than providing support. Such behavior not only reveals their cruel nature, but also serves as a warning sign for you to distance yourself. What should you do if you encounter someone who takes pleasure in others' pain? The key is to recognize these signs early and take steps to protect yourself. Distancing yourself from these individuals is crucial to maintaining your emotional health. In Stoic philosophy, maintaining inner peace and emotional equilibrium is essential. Surround yourself with people who lift you up and support you, rather than those who delight in your struggles. Number 2. Need to control your life. Think about a time when you felt completely free, making your own choices and living your life on your terms. Now, imagine someone trying to control every aspect of your existence. This need for control is another clear indicator of an evil person. Stoicism teaches us the importance of autonomy and the power of inner freedom. An evil person feels uncomfortable and powerless if they don't control every aspect of their lives and the lives of those around them. Why is recognizing this behavior important? Because an obsessive need for control can be suffocating and dangerous. Such individuals will manipulate situations to maintain dominance, often using emotional blackmail. Picture a boss who insists on reviewing every detail of your work not to help you, but to exert their control, or a partner who constantly monitors your whereabouts, not out of concern, but a need to dominate your life. This behavior can erode your sense of autonomy and well-being. What can you do to protect yourself? Set clear boundaries and maintain your independence. Recognize the controlling behaviors and assert your right to make your own decisions. In Stoicism, maintaining control over your own mind and actions is paramount. Don't let someone else's need for control dictate your life. By setting firm boundaries, you preserve your inner freedom and protect your emotional well-being. Number 3. Strange Feeling when you're around them. Remember the comfort of being surrounded by friends and family, where you felt completely at ease and happy. Now, think of the times when you've been around someone who made you feel uneasy or anxious for no apparent reason. This strange feeling is a natural instinct warning you that something is off. Stoicism emphasizes the importance of trusting your inner sense 
and maintaining your peace of mind. Why focus on this feeling? Because your instincts often pick up on signals that your conscious mind may not perceive. Imagine being at a family gathering where everyone is having fun, but there's one person whose presence makes you tense and uncomfortable. Even if they aren't doing anything overtly wrong, their negative energy can affect your well-being. This could be a sign of malicious intentions or negative energy. What should you do when you feel this way? Pay attention to these feelings and trust your instincts. Distance yourself from individuals who consistently make you feel uncomfortable. In Stoic practice, maintaining your inner tranquility is vital. Avoiding those who disrupt your peace is not just self-preservation, it's a necessity for a balanced and serene life. Number 4. Lack of Responsibility Think back to moments when taking responsibility for your actions led to personal growth and strengthened relationships. Now, consider someone who never takes responsibility for their actions, always blaming others for their mistakes. This lack of responsibility is another hallmark of an evil person. In Stoicism, we learn the value of personal accountability and the strength it brings to our character. Why is this behavior a red flag? Because individuals who constantly deflect blame and play the victim can create a toxic environment. Picture a co-worker who makes a mistake on an important project but quickly points the finger at you or someone else. Or a friend who consistently gets into trouble and always blames external factors for their predicaments. This behavior not only undermines trust but also forces you into unfair positions of guilt and responsibility. What can you do to protect yourself? Recognize these behaviors and refuse to accept undue blame. Stand firm in your understanding of the situation and don't let others manipulate you into feeling guilty for their mistakes. Stoicism teaches us to accept what is within our control and let go of what isn't. Hold others accountable for their actions and maintain your integrity by not accepting the burden of their irresponsibility. Number 5. Habit of Lying Think about the trust and respect built on honesty in your relationships. Now, imagine someone who constantly lies, undermining that trust. The habit of lying is a clear sign of an evil person. Stoicism places a high value on truthfulness and integrity considering honesty as a cornerstone of a virtuous life. Why is lying so damaging? Because it erodes trust and creates a foundation of deceit in relationships. Imagine a co-worker who fabricates stories about their achievements to stand out, or a friend who lies about their whereabouts to avoid spending time with you. These lies, whether big or small, show a total lack of respect and consideration for you. What should you do when you encounter habitual liars? Confront the lies and assert the importance of honesty in your interactions. Recognize that a relationship built on lies is unsustainable. In Stoic philosophy, living truthfully and authentically is essential. Surround yourself with people who value honesty and integrity and distance yourself from those who habitually deceive this way you protect your peace of mind and build a circle of trust and respect. Number 6. Absence of remorse Reflect on moments when you made a mistake and felt genuine remorse, leading you to apologize and make amends. Now imagine someone who never feels guilt or sorrow for their actions, no matter how much harm they cause. This absence of remorse is a defining characteristic of an evil person. Stoicism emphasizes the importance of self-reflection and the moral growth that comes from acknowledging our mistakes. Why is the absence of remorse significant? Because it reveals a deeply ingrained lack of empathy and moral awareness. Imagine a colleague who takes credit for your work and, when confronted, not only shows no regret, but justifies their actions by belittling your contributions. Or, a friend who makes hurtful comments and, instead of apologizing, laughs off your feelings or suggests you are too sensitive. 
This behavior not only shows a total disregard for others' emotions, but also manipulates situations to avoid taking responsibility. What can you do if you encounter someone who lacks remorse? Recognize that their inability to feel guilt or take responsibility is a significant red flag. Distance yourself from such individuals to protect your emotional health. In Stoicism, it is crucial to maintain inner peace and not let others' actions disrupt your equilibrium. By setting boundaries and avoiding those who lack remorse, you can preserve your integrity and well-being. Number 7. Cruelty Think back to a time when you witnessed or experienced acts of kindness and how those moments uplifted your spirit. Now, contrast that with someone who acts openly cruel, using words or actions to inflict pain deliberately. Cruelty is a clear indication of an evil person. Stoicism teaches us the value of compassion and the moral duty to treat others with respect and kindness. Why is cruelty so telling of a person's character? Because it demonstrates a profound lack of empathy and a willingness to harm others for personal satisfaction. Imagine a co-worker who makes malicious comments during meetings not to offer constructive criticism, but to demoralize and control. Or a partner who regularly insults or physically abuses you, showing a blatant disregard for your dignity and well-being. These actions create a toxic and oppressive environment that can severely impact your mental and emotional health. What can you do to protect yourself from cruelty? Recognize the signs and understand that such behavior is unacceptable. Set firm boundaries and seek support from trusted friends, family or professionals if you find yourself in a harmful situation. In Stoic philosophy, it is vital to protect your inner peace and integrity. Do not tolerate cruelty in any form and take necessary steps to ensure your safety and well-being. Remember, you deserve to be treated with respect and kindness. Number 8. Friends and Family Warnings About the Bad Person's Character Consider the times when your friends and family offered advice or warnings out of genuine concern for your well-being. Now, imagine ignoring these warnings and finding yourself in harmful situations as a result. Heeding the concerns of those who care about you is crucial. Stoicism values wisdom and the importance of listening to those who have your best interests at heart. Why should you pay attention to these warnings? Because your friends and family may have observed toxic behaviors that you haven't noticed, especially if you're emotionally involved. Imagine starting a new relationship and soon your closest friends express concerns about your partner's manipulative tendencies based on their past experiences or you begin a new job and colleagues quickly warn you about a supervisor known for creating a hostile work environment. These warnings are not just gossip, they are based on real observations and experiences that can protect you from future harm. What can you do when you receive such warnings? Take them seriously and observe the person's behavior more closely. Trust the judgment of those who care about you and consider their advice when making decisions about your relationships. In Stoicism, wisdom and prudence are essential virtues. By valuing the insights of your trusted circle, you can avoid unnecessary pain and maintain a healthier, more balanced life. Number 9. Contempt Think about the times when you felt respected and valued by others and how that respect has positively influenced your self-esteem and confidence. Now consider someone who consistently shows contempt towards you, making you feel inferior and unworthy. Contempt is one of the most destructive forms of emotional manipulation and a clear sign of an evil person. Stoicism teaches the importance of self-respect and the need to surround ourselves with those who uplift us. Why is contempt so harmful? Because it undermines your self-worth and erodes your confidence over time. Imagine a partner who constantly criticizes your appearance, 
suggesting you could be more attractive if you just made more effort. Or a friend who mocks your interests and belittles your achievements, making you feel foolish for pursuing your passions. These actions are not just hurtful, they are designed to weaken your self-esteem and make you dependent on their approval. What should you do if you encounter contempt? Recognize that you deserve to be treated with respect and that no one has the right to make you feel inferior. Confront the behavior if you feel safe doing so and assert your right to be respected. In Stoicism, maintaining your self-respect and inner strength is crucial. Distance yourself from those who show contempt and seek relationships that support and value you. By protecting your self-esteem, you ensure a healthier and more fulfilling life. In conclusion, recognizing these nine signs can help you protect your peace of mind and maintain healthy relationships. By understanding behaviors like taking pleasure in others' pain, an obsessive need for control, a constant habit of lying and showing contempt, you can better navigate your interactions and safeguard your well-being. Remember, it is crucial to surround yourself with individuals who uplift and support you, rather than those who seek to undermine your confidence and happiness. If you've made it this far, drop a 100 in the comments to show that you're part of the 0.01% who actually finish what they start. Your commitment to self-improvement is truly commendable. If you're serious about making positive changes in your life, be sure to join our community by subscribing to our channel. Together, we can continue to explore and embrace the wisdom needed to live a fulfilling and peaceful life.